Give us a sense of what you're feeling outside that hall right now. Right. Well, as, as you mentioned, uh, Andrew, the service is just wrapping up now. Uh, it looks like the Prime Minister's motorcade is just parked off to the side. He'll be departing soon. And the service was really billed as a celebration of life, and it certainly was. While there was definitely a lot of emotion in that room, uh, there was also lighter moments. Uh, while people were recalling uh, some of the many stories of Ralph over the years, one, one part which really stu stood out for me was when uh, former Premier Mike Harris uh, was recounting some of his clients stories, not only uh, Klein as a premier, but also uh, Klein as he knew him personally. He talked about uh, how Klein had poor form on the golf course and also about when they would be at premier's conferences together, uh, Klein would sometimes ask Mike Harris to cover for him while he would duck out for a smoke. So there certainly was some lighter moments, but overall we heard so much about uh, Klein's commitment to public service, all of the work that he did here in Calgary as mayor and then all the work he did for the province of Alberta. We heard time and time again during the service about his courage and conviction to make tough decisions, to make cuts when it was uh, for the greater good of the province. I mean, we heard from uh, current Premier Alison Redford and also uh, from Prime Minister Stephen Harper just about what he meant not only to the city of Calgary, uh, but to Alberta. And uh, certainly uh, a lot of people there were honouring him this afternoon. And important to mention, Briar, that while, of course, there were the Prime Minister, the Premier, the Mayor, uh, former Prime Minister Jean Chrétien, there were certainly the dignitaries that were there, but there were also a lot of just regular Calgarians, regular Albertans that went to this hall. And that was something that I'm sure in the past few days when you've been speaking to people, that that, that element of Ralph Klein is really what people are remembering today. Exactly. I mean, whenever we have talked to people over the, the last week since his death, uh, people have just talked about his character and his ability uh, to connect with the average Albertan. Hundreds of people lined up here outside of this hall this morning, some as early as 7 a.m. just to be guaranteed a spot inside. Not only were there people from Calgary lining up, but there were people who drove in from across the province because they really felt the need to be there. And as I was speaking with people as they were standing in line this morning, what I continually heard was just about how... Uh, uh, Klein was somebody who could really put them at ease, that he would, you know, speak to them at a barbecue or perhaps they'd see him at a, a pancake breakfast. And he was the kind of person that would always uh, ask someone's name. And uh, he really seemed like a kind of an average Joe and uh, he had a very genuine and sincere nature about him. And that really stuck with people. And that's why uh, this, this service today, uh, it, was, it was so open to the public because that was a big part uh, of Klein's popularity. And not, and not a state funeral, right? It certainly had, it had the feeling of something important but it was specifically said that Ralph that they the family did not want a state funeral right well, that's correct. Klein's family was offered a state funeral, but uh, in the end it was decided that Klein would probably be a little uncomfortable with all of the fanfare that accompanies it. But, but you're right, this definitely, even though it wasn't a state funeral, it definitely had the air of a very momentous occasion. I can tell you that the flame on top of the Calgary Tower was lit. It's burning right now. It was lit at the beginning of the memorial service. I'm told that that's something that rarely happens. Not only uh, were there 1,800 people inside that concert hall, but screens were put up across across the square for people who were just out and around walking in downtown Calgary. It gave them a chance to tune in and to watch the service. So certainly uh, this was not just a, a service for the dignitaries and the political leaders, uh, but for, for all Albertans. Briar, thanks very much. That's Briar Stewart in Calgary.